hey welcome to my channel kelly's crochet adventures welcome 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 to my returning subscribers and welcome 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 to my new subscribers honey i'm so glad that you are here today well what are we doing today we are continuing with our crafty reflection series and in this series i share with you awesome wonderful inspirational devotional pattern books that just can bless anybody's life out here <laughs> And the one we are still continuing to uh, enjoy is Knit, Pray, Share, written by the lovely Lisa Hennessy. And if you have not grabbed you a copy, honey, what you wait for? This is amazing. No, she ain't tell me to say that. I just love it so much that I had to share this. I got to tell you, this is awesome. And I'm going to tell you what, out in these YouTube streets, people who have this book absolutely love it. It is such a blessing. So we're going to go ahead and get into it, all right? All right, okay, but before we do, before we get into any of this wonderful, wonderful goodness, do you have your crafty item? Well, go on and grab your crafty item then. Listen, whether you knit, crochet, loom knit, latch hook, water painting, diamond color painting, quilting, cross stitch, whatever your craft of choice is today, honey, go ahead and grab it as I begin to share with you this wonderful devotion for today, okay? And so today's devotion, it is called dust mop cloths hold on but before we get into it you not crafting today don't even worry about it listen grab you some water some tea some coffee what have you grab you something to drink sit back relax as i share this with you all right all right but let me go on and show you the picture i done said it already so it's a <laughs> it's a dust mop cloth and it is cute let me show you can you see that oh production Show them that, okay. I think this is it right here. There it is. All right. That's what we're going to be reading about today. It is cute. This is a knitted dust mop cloth, and I'm here for it. I know somebody who I can bless with this. I looked at this. I said, aha, I know who's going to get this. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and look to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time that we have to share in you. I pray that you get the glory out of this wonderful, wonderful time that we share in this wonderful devotional, inspirational pattern book. Father, I pray that the items that we create from this book will bless somebody's heart. Father, you get the glory, you get all the honor and the praise. As Father, we pray that you would also heal those that need to be healed, deliver those who need to be delivered, and set free those who need to be set free. Everybody out here in these YouTube streets, Father, I pray that you get the glory out of each and every person's life. In Yeshua HaMashiach's name we pray, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, family. Let's go on and get into it, okay? All right, dust mop cloths. As a parent, it has always been important that I start my children at a young age contributing to the running of the family household. The chores don't have to be complicated and they can become more challenging as the child grows. But it's important that this habit start at a young age. It helps the child learn responsibility and it helps with family cohesiveness. I know this was one of my daughter's least favorite jobs but when you have a dog that sheds, swiffering is a necessity. I would ask her to perform this task before I do the wet mop portion. This was one of her regular chores that lasted until she left or went off to college. Many times she wasn't able to go out until she had done it. I like to think that having a cute hand knit dust mop cloth makes this job a little more enjoyable these cloths are also an eco-friendly alternative to those throwaway cloths that you, that you tuck into a Swiffer type mop. You can use these dry or wet, so you don't need to buy two different kinds to use. Not to mention, with this gift, you aren't adding more to our landfills. These are great gifts for a parent, grandparent, or other caregiver to use with a little help at your time. Proverbs chapter 22, verse six. Start children off on the way they should go and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. Dear Lord, help this parent, grandparent, or caregiver 
to train up their child in the way they should go so that they are grounded in your word. I pray for the person who receives this gift to not be discouraged if their child does not always have a helpful spirit. You can change anyone's heart, including a child's. It is in the name of Jesus that I pray these things. Amen. Amen, family. This was beautiful. I love this. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. Okay, I showed you a picture, but I'm going to show you this in picture. This is what it looks like. This is the pattern. Isn't that pretty? I love it. That's the cadence of the pattern, kind of how it goes. And I'm here for it. I know somebody I can bless with this. Let me show you again so, I, so you can see these production cooperating. Yes, see those? Aren't those cute? Oh my gosh. They're so super cute. So I'm ready to bless somebody with it. How about you? <laughs> All right, family, listen. Thank you so much for spending time with me today and listening to this wonderful inspirational devotional pattern book. I'm telling you, Knit, Pray, Share is awesome. And I pray that this has been a blessing to you and it puts something on your heart to where you can go, hmm, I think I can bless somebody with this. Or, you know, just someone you can give to. Just someone might come to your heart or your mind and you can figure out, listen, I think I'm going to give it to this person or make it for that person. But this is a blessing. Or maybe you need to make one for yourself and your child. Who Listen, who knows? We out here, right? We out here in these YouTube streets and we got to mop our floors. <laughs> and this will be an added addition with pets or without. I think it's really neat. And so I believe I'm going to be making a few of these. I think I know a few people I can bless with this. All right, family, listen, it's time for me to roll on out. But if you would love to come on over on Friday this week from 1230 to 1:30, we're going to be discussing this wonderful, wonderful knit, pray, share devotional today. I love it. We're going to be talking about the dust mop cloth. So come on over and let's talk about it. It's going to be on Friday this, this time. Yeah, usually I'm a Thursday girl. But I had so many meetings and so many. I have a training that day. It's going to be, oh, man, I'm going to be a busy lady. So, listen, Friday is the day. So, if you can come over at 1230 Eastern, 1230 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, <laughs> feel free to come on by. Stop by if you can. If not, honey, I know I'm going to see you somewhere around these YouTube streets. Right? Don't worry about it. If you can, you can. If you can't, you can't. But I'd love to see you if you can. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, stay blessed, stay encouraged. If you need prayer, put it in the comments below and I will pray for you. I will add you to my prayer journal and I will continue to pray for you and your family. Okay. All right. Well, I hope to see you this Friday. Don't forget it's Friday this week. All right. Stay blessed, stay encouraged. May the most high bless you and may heaven smile upon you. Until next time. Bye.